On September 2nd, 2022, at about 11.25 p.m., a man was driving a pickup truck near Pemberton and Cleveland Avenue in the Squamish. When turning a corner, a truck flipped over onto the sidewalk and hit two women who were waiting for a bus. The women were pinned underneath the truck and the male driver was trapped inside. A number of people witnessed the accident and immediately ran to help. They lifted the truck and helped pull the women out from underneath. After this, these Good Samaritans helped the man from the truck who then ran away. On behalf of the family of the two women and the RCP, I extend our appreciation and thanks to those who helped. Their actions were brave and compassionate. As you've been made aware, one of the women has since uh, been released from hospital, while a second, Preet Senga, who was 44 years old at the time, died in hospital on September 16th as a result of the injuries that she sustained that night. The Integrated Collision Analyst and Reconstruction Service assisted in the first instance, given the seriousness of the accident, and the Sea to Sky RCMP General Investigation Section is actively investigating this file. GIS is a specialized team that investigates serious crimes in our communities. This team works with dedication and commitment to finding the facts of what happened and some of them are here today to show their support of the family. Shortly after the incident, a man associated with the involved truck was arrested but later released. This investigation continues to make progress and I'm confident in our investigators, their skill and their efforts. They're accountable to me and to Kirkreet Sanga's family to ensure that our work is timely and accurate. Our Victim Services Unit has been providing support to the family and to those affected on the events of that night. This tragedy has had a significant impact on the family and our local community and has been physically and emotionally devastating for many. We know that there are witnesses who have not yet spoken to the police and I'm extending an appeal to those witnesses to come forward. In addition, I'm extending a second moral appeal to the truck driver to do the right thing and to come in and speak with our investigators about the events of that night. That's end of my